programming with C++. Good morning friends. Yesterday we have seen introduction and C++ stream topic of managing console input output operation. Now we will start C++ stream class. The basic of C++ stream class is already discussed in part 1 of In C++ stream class, there are basically five classes. First one is iOS class, which provides the basic support for formatted and unformatted input-output operation. Second stream class is iStream. It provides the facility for formatted and unformatted input. Third class is OStream which provides the facility for formatted output. Next class is IO stream class, which provides the facility for handling both input and output stream. Last class is stream UF class, which provides an interface to physical device through buffer. Now, we will see unformatted input output operation. These all classes are used to produce output which will be shown in well-defined manner. So for that we required various input-output operation which, is, which are already defined in the various C++ stream classes. Now, first of all we will discuss put and get function put and get functions are member function of iStream and OStream classes respectively. For single character input and output these functions are used. It means if we want to get one character at a time from keyboard then we can use get function and if we want to display one character at a time on screen, then we can use put function. There are various types of get function and put function available. The first is get in which we can pass character star as an input parameter, which assigns the input character to its argument. Second one is get void, which returns the input character. Means if one variable is defined of data type character, and if we use this type of get function, then this example for these type of get function is scene.get in the bracket c. Second option is we can use scene.get function and it will return one character which will be assigned to c variable. Now similarly we can put one character at output screen using put function. Example of that Using same C variable, we can display output using this line C out dot put in the bracket C, or we can directly put some character in put function also. The example is highlighted here. Next functions are get line and write function. GetLine function reads a whole line of text that ends with a new line character. It means if you press enter then only it will not take next character as an input. If you give 5 character and then press enter then it will detect 5 character. If you give 10 character and then press enter then it will detect 10 character. Example for this is scene.getLine, line, comma, size. 
Reading is terminated as soon as either the new line character is encountered or size minus 1 characters are created. Here, using this variable, you can restrict upper limit of the line character. Next one is a write function displays an entire line of text. Example, cout.write line comma size. So, if we use get line function for scene, then we should use write function for cout because here in get line, we will get whole line as an input. So, we have to display whole line as an output using write function. Write function also used to concatenate string. Now, after unformatted input output operation, there are few formatted input output operations are also available. C++ support a number of features that could be used for formatting the output. These features include iOS class function and flag manipulator and user defined output function. The iOS class contains a large number of member functions that would help us to format the output in a number of ways. Here, few format functions of iOS class are available. The functions are width, precision, fill, setf, unsetf. Width function is used to specify the required field size of displaying an output value. Precision function is used to specify the number of digits to be displayed after the decimal point of a float value. It means if you give precision as a 2, then it will truncate the value and set precision equal to 2. It means if you give input as a 1.432 then it will displace 1.43 and if you give 1.469 then it will display 1.47 next function is fill it is used to specify a character that is used to fill the unused portion of a field next function is setup function which is used to specify format flag that can control the form of output display like left justification or right justification. So here you can give output in either left justification format or right justification format. Next function is unsetter. It is used to clear the flags specified. If we use various flag, then we need to specify and we need to clear it out. So, to clear the flag, we can use the function unset f. Next, we will see various manipulators. The second category of formatted console input output operation. Manipulators are special functions that can be included in the input output statement to alter the format parameter of a string. To access manipulator, the file iomanip.h should be included in the program. Various manipulators are setw, set precision, set fill, set ios flag, reset ios flag. These manipulators are equivalent manipulators of various iOS function like setw manipulator is equivalent to the function width. Set precision manipulator is equivalent to the function precision. Set fill manipulator is an equivalent iOS function of fill. Set iOS flag manipulator is equivalent to set f iOS function. Reset iOS flag manipulator is equivalent to unset f iOS function. Now, so the question comes in your mind is what is the basic difference 
difference between IOS member function and manipulator. The IOS member function returns the previous format state which can be used later, but the manipulator does not return the previous format state. Let's see it with one example. If we write cout.precision2, which is the previous state, now we write cout.precision4, which is the current state, it means previously we have defined precision is equal to 2. Now we have defined precision is equal to 4. When you are using iOS member function, it will return the previous state which is which can be stored in some variable likewise here we have stored previous state of this function into p variable so p is equal to 2 now if we write c out dot precision p then it will restore the precision to 2 it means previously we have set precision is equal to 2 then we have set precision is equal to 4. Then again we have set precision is equal to 2. This can be possible using IOF member function. If we want to perform similar tasks in manipulator, then we have to remember previous state because it does not maintain the previous state by default. Now, can design our own manipulators. Few manipulators are already discussed which are available in C++ but we can define our own manipulator which can be used in various types of class and object. We can design our own manipulator for certain special purpose. Here we have uh, here I have given one example O stream Amberson is a written type. Manipulator name can be user defined manipulator and we can pass parameter O stream Amberson output. Now, in this manipulator, here some code is written. Last statement written as written output. Now, this output is of type output stream Amberson, which is already passed as a parameter. Now, example of this is O stream Amberson, manipulator name is unit, and again we will pass O stream Amberson output as a parameter. Now, here one line is written output inches with displays inches on screen and then we have written this output now if we add this code into our program and then we can write this statement in main function cout36 unit so which will display 36 inches because we have used manipulator named unit which displays inches as a output so in this way we can define user defined manipulator which can be used in any type of class object or we can also use it in main function we can also create manipulator that could represent a sequence of operation. This is just another example. Here I have written O stream Amberson, which is written type. O is a name of manipulator. O stream Amberson output is a passing parameter. Now, first statement is output dot setf iOS. Scope resolution operator show. Second line is output dot setf iOS scope resolution operator show pose. 
output set w 10 return output these functions define a manipulator called show that turns on the flag show point and show pos declared in a class ios and set the field width to 10 why because we have here set one flag named show point then again we have set another flag named show pos and then we have set width using set w function which is equal to so all the all three tasks are combined in one manipulator so indirectly we have called various flag and various function of ios using manipulator ios is a inbuilt in c++ whereas manipulator can be defined by our own purpose thank you all the students I hope you like this video. This video and part 1 video combinedly covers all the topics of console input output operation in C++.